Hi, welcome to Google SketchUp for Engineers. I just want to talk about why SketchUp. Well, SketchUp is a free 3D drafting program. You can draw to scale, you can do what-if scenarios, you can do fully rendered models, and it's just plain fun. But for engineers, this is a bridge pier. You can draw your projects up, you can see if they actually work, you can do some visualization and explain to non-engineers what's going on, you can take it to the job site and show the workers what you're talking about, if you want to show a steel layout or um, how a complex piece works in the field. Well, the first thing we want to do, it's my dog by the way, <laughs> is just Google SketchUp. And you can go to Google SketchUp and you can download Google SketchUp. It's free. If you're in the education field like I am, you can go to Pro Licensing. So if you really like the, pro uh, the product, it's usually $495 for Google SketchUp if you want a pro version. If you're a student, you can buy it for $49 a year. And it's worth it because it has a few extras in it. But the basic SketchUp does everything that you want to do. All right, so when you download SketchUp, it's going to put it on some place like your C drive under your program files. And you can see I have Google right here. You can have multiple versions, and I have the Pro version right here. And we're going to want to put plugins. These plugins are little script files. Like, let's open one up the Bezier Spline RB Ruby extension. It's using the Ruby language in the pro in the program. So let's open that with Notepad. And it's just a text file that SketchUp interprets and helps you do something beyond the original program. And I'll explain that here. Let's just go back to SketchUp. So let's say I have this peer and for whatever reason I want to put some kind of pipe on it. I can select it, I can go to my my tools, and here's a Ruby that makes a pipe. So let's make it an eight inch pipe. And there is a pipe that is put into my program. So that's a Ruby, and there's tons of plugins you can get, all these different things to help you out and do more than the original program. You can see some of them up here in my toolbar. Different splines, different curves, different things you can do, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, what good is SketchUp? Well, here's some of the things you can do with SketchUp. A friend of mine drew this bridge in SketchUp and then put it out to a photorealistic rendering program, and I can show you some free ones coming up in the course. If you want to look from above, and this project is actually being built and the contractor is actually using the model in the field to explain to workers what a connection looks like, what it should look like in the field. Another thing you should really do is you should join Sketchucation. Sketchucation. It's free to join. You just got to get a password and you can join up. They have a newbie forum where you can ask questions about SketchUp. It's a great place to go. SketchUp discussions. They have a gallery where you can see works in progress. And here's some of the more impressive SketchUp modeling. So this was made in SketchUp. Probably rendered in one of these free photorealistic rendering programs. You can see the detail of the ship. City scenes, mopeds, space vehicles, choppers, anything you want to do. So this is made up in SketchUp 2 and then it's put out to a 3D rendering program which is really easy to do. Cars, obviously this is more architectural, landscape, and we're going to concentrate on engineering solutions but it's a great thing for engineers as well. There's an engineering 
product that we'd have to maybe explain in the field, how the pipe system is working, how the different bays and the glass are going together. All right, so I've got it back to my pier. I don't really need it, so I'm going to try something else. I'm just going to put a little square out. reverse the face, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's say I wanted to make a park. Well, there's another great thing that you can use in SketchUp. You can go to the 3D Warehouse and get models. There's a ton of models posted on the 3D Warehouse. For example, Street Light. So I need a street light. I can just download the model, and I can start building my park or anything else and there's a street light and there's all kinds of models that you can put in your drawing so if you wanted to do a little city street and you need some street lights if you wanted to do a bridge you could do that you can search for different things I did a little bridge on 3d warehouse Here's a little single span bridge. It's got piles, it's got an abutment, that's called the deck, it's got drains, and you can also see if you want to output it, you can output it to 3D and you can do a nice 3D rendering of it, a photorealistic rendering of it. Mm -hmm.